Welcome to Pro Stitch or Light Tutorials. Let's walk through the steps of how to set up your frame space, set up an edge to edge design, quilt that design, and advance it using drag and drop. So let's take a look on the screen and we'll, we'll set up our frame space first. To set up your frame space, choose the area tab. On the ribbon, have frame space selected. Next, we need to move the machine to the top left corner of our quiltable frame space. I'm actually moving this just a little bit off the edge of my quilt top. We'll tap to corner and this will drop our first frame space point. Next, we need to move the machine over to the bottom right corner of our quilt. I've got the machine pulled as far forward as close to me as it can. And once again, I have it just off the edge of the quilt top. I'll touch two corner again, and I now have my frame space set up. We can see that there on the screen. It's represented with that red box. You have to have a frame space set up to be able to quilt. So always do this first. Next, we'll open a design. Let's go to the file tab and choose design and open. And I want to choose a design from the PS Designs folder here and continuous line. Let's go choose the Flutterbys design right here. Some cute butterflies. Next, we want to set up an area. We want to do this for the entire space of our quilt. And just a tip, don't forget to measure the length of your quilt before you set up your, before you load it onto your frame. Okay, I will move my machine once again to the top left corner of my fabric. This time I'm actually going to set up just a little bit off the edge of the quilt top. And I'll choose my area tab and tap to corner. Once again, I'll move my machine down to the bottom right corner. Once again, going just a little bit off the edge of my, of my quilt top and tap to corner. Now let's go back to the screen and we'll change the height so it's the actual height of my design. So I'll tap inside this little box right here and this numeric keypad pops up. My quilt that I measured before I loaded it is 85 inches long. So I'll just tap in 85 and enter. And now on my screen, I have a representation of my frame space. It's the red box. My area, which is the pink box, which is the size of my entire frame. Now I want to repeat my design. So let's select the repeat tab and we'll choose basic on the ribbon. It's already selected. Then we'll choose horizontal and I'll tap the fill button down here. This puts as many designs as will fit inside the area. Now you can see that it doesn't quite fill it up all the way. There's an easy way to fix that. We just tap the stretch button here and it will actually stretch it horizontally. Then if I tap vertical and tap stretch again, it will stretch it throughout vertically. So clear to the top of my area and to the bottom of my area. And I'm going to make sure I'm moving my machine so that I, I could check and make sure that I will be able to quilt my entire design within my quiltable space my frame space. So I have my crosshairs up here at the top. I'll move them down to the bottom edge of that design. It all fits, which is wonderful. Okay, now we're ready to stitch. We select the Pro Stitcher tab, quilt on the ribbon. If it's already selected, it's green. And then over here in the sidebar, I have some options. Make sure that this stitch button right here is not turned off. Make sure it's on if you want to stitch. You can turn on or off your tie offs because I'm starting slightly off the edge of my quilt and finishing off the edge of my quilt. I'm actually going to turn these off. I'll be trimming that part away anyway, so I don't need that tie off, but I do want my pull up on. I want the machine to pull up the machine for that or pull up my thread for that first stitch. Next, I will move my machine close to where that start point is and I'll tap the run button. My verify settings comes up. You can see that all the things I have turned on are green and the ones I have turned off are pink. 
There's a really important warning here at the bottom. It says, make sure the needle is up. So make sure your needle's up when you're ready to stitch. If you wanna change any of these settings, over here in the sidebar, I can actually tap on any of these and adjust, for example, my stitches per inch and go down to 10 if I'd like to at this point before stitching. When I have my settings where I want them to be and my needle is up, I'll touch proceed. The machine will move, take that first stitch so I can pull up my bobbin thread. I'll hold on to both of those threads and I'll tap or zoom and the machine is gonna go ahead and stitch out that first row. All right, I've finished stitching my row. I now have a long jump pause warning on my screen. I can just X out of that and I'm ready to move my, advance my frame, advance my quilt. So the first thing I wanna do is just cut my, bring up my bobbin thread and cut it so that I don't have any extra threads being dragged across my, machine, my uh, quilt. Next, I'm going to move my machine towards the center of the design. It doesn't have to be right in the center, but what I want to do is make sure that my horizontal crosshair is above the next row that will be stitched. I'm going to drop my needle at this point. So just use your needle down button and I drop my needle so that it is in the fabric. Next, over here in the sidebar, I'll tap the drag button. This attaches the design to my crosshairs. I'm gonna just zoom out a little bit so you guys can watch now. Now I'm going to advance my quilt on the frame. I'll undo my side clamps and then come over here to the side of my frame where I have my ratchet stops. I'll lift the ratchet stops on the two front poles only. I don't need to do it on the, the rear pole. I'll lift these two up. Then very carefully, I'm going to reach back and grasp my top pole, my take up pole right here. And I'm just going to turn very gently and move my machine. Now my machine is moving and so is my design on the screen. You can see both of those at the same time. Okay, I've got this dropped as far, or I've got this advanced as far as I need to. Next, I'll take my two ratchet stops and drop them down and click both of these poles so that they have some tension on them. And I'll grab my side clamp and put it back on the side of my quilt here, just like that. I'll do that on both of the sides. I will make sure everything's nice and smooth where it should be, everything's smooth. Make sure that I don't have any lumps or bumps in my batting, everything's good to go. And the last thing I want to do is give the machine a little bit of a wiggle to make sure that there's no extra tension on this needle. Now I've advanced my design and if we look at the screen here, you can see that it's moved outside of my frame space and outside of my area. That's okay, because we've advanced that design. Next, we'll tap drop. And this makes it so that when I lift my needle and move my machine, it's no longer attached to my, the, the movement of my machine, my design isn't. Your last step before stitching again is to be sure to come over to the sides of your quilt and baste down the sides. You can just do some st quick stitching do a little bit of that here. Just using the controls on the side of my, on my handlebars. Do a little bit of stitching here. Don't forget to trim your threads. 
Then I'll move the machine back over to the right, or sorry, back over to the left side of my quilt. I always stitch the right side first. I'll do a little bit of basting once again. Down the side. Clip those threads again. Then when I'm ready to start stitching, I'll tap the resume button and my quilt, my next row will be quilted. That's the steps of setting up an edge to edge design and then advancing it as you move through the quilt.